that's good. Literally just rolled out of bed. Maybe I should tuck that in. Well, it looks like it's staying. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a Teen Titans inspired makeup look. I'm going to be doing Raven. Now disclaimer, my wig is not purple. The one I'm going to be using for this look is not purple. It is burgundy with a hint of purple. Close enough, right? It's in a bob style, so like, I'm just going to use it. So I'm just going to jump right in. I love Raven. I have always loved her. I love the Teen Titans so much. Teen Titans Go, that show can suck my ass. I definitely prefer the original one. That's the one that I grew up on. By the way, I'm using Colourpop's concealer in medium 20 and I'm just putting that on the perimeter of my face. She has like a grayish white tone to her skin color and i want to replicate that so i'm taking my concealer all over my face and all down my neck so i'm just gonna take my foundation brush and blend all this out Now I'm going to go in with NYX eyeshadow base in white. Then I'm going to take a flat concealer brush. I'm just going to highlight my face where I would normally highlight. saw this picture of Raven and I was like I want to be her <laughs> so here we are break this is what just happened <sighs> I'm gonna go in with my what is this Cody airspun this is in naturally neutral I'm just gonna take a shit ton and I'm just gonna set my entire face I'm hoping this will keep it white because anytime I do this with my foundation my foundation ends up looking white I'm not too worried about my eyes being like super white and blanked out because I'm gonna be doing a dark purple look on my eyes anyway, it's gonna be really smoky. That's okay, it's okay. Speaking of eyes. Mm, some nice hot tea with a dash of makeup powder in the morning. Really gets my day started. I'm just gonna go into my Cara Professional Makeup Palette and I'm gonna use this shade and mix it just a dab of this shade.
quite as well as I wanted it to, but it's not terrible. I'm going to prime just a little bit because I want, I want this to be as pigmented as possible. And when I say a little bit, I mean like a little bit compared to what I usually do. And I'm going to go in with this LA Girl Eye Lux Mesmerizing Palette and Glamorize. And I'm going to go in with this like deep, deep purple shade and I'm gonna start by packing that on my lid all over and I'm gonna bring this into my crease just a little bit but I'm keeping it really really low we're gonna smoke this out so I don't want this to be too crazy right now I'm also gonna take some of that just on the very tip of the brush and I'm gonna put this on my lower lash line as close to my lower lash line as possible and I want to really like tightly bring this in on the inner corner I really dig Raven's whole aesthetic like I don't know just like the dark gothy vibes they're cool to me I like it but I think that's a style I don't really know how to pull off so now I'm gonna go in with the lighter shade in that palette I'm going to blend out those lines and again I'm keeping this really I'm keeping this look really small and com compact around the eye even though it is going to be smoked out, I don't want it to get too crazy because then it can kind of just look like a black eye. I don't know when I'm posting this, but I know I'm posting it after my rainbow series. So I hope you guys really, really, really enjoyed it. I've only done two looks so far. So I don't know how the others turned out, but you guys do, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, and yeah, I'm sure it was a lot of fun. <laughs> Ew, I just snotted all over myself. I'm gonna go back into that Cara palette, and I'm gonna go into the lightest purple in the palette right here. And I'm just gonna use that as a transition and blend out these other purples. It's almost like a lilac purple, almost. Also on the lower lash line. Now I'm gonna go into this e.l.f. Mad For Matte eyeshadow palette in Holy Smokes. And I'm gonna go in with this gray and just like the tiniest, tiniest touch of this it's like a really dark gray, but it's not quite black. I'm going to contour with that. kind of like brushed away all the powder on my face. I'm gonna go back in and add some more. Just right here. Right on my cheeks. A little under the eyes. This powder stinks so bad. It smells like a grandma's bathroom. For blush, I'm going to go in with this really light purple shade in that palette that we started off with for the eyes. I'm going to use that as blush. I'm going to tap that on. 
right above the contour. It doesn't show too much, which I like because she doesn't have much color to her face, but she does have some. I don't want to completely be just like white based, gray contour. Like I want to have some sort of natural something to my skin, you know? Okay, I'm going to do my forehead off camera really quick. Okay, so wig is on. I also put some black liner in my waterline just to take it from looking like we got punched in the face to purposeful, you know? I hate that I do that. I hate that I say, you know, after everything. It annoys me so much in editing. Oh no. The glue on my lower lashes dried. Damn it. So first I'm just going to take my brow pencil and trace out the shape of her gem. I don't remember if it's like that or if it's like a teardrop shape. I think it's like this. So I'm just starting by sketching it out. I think her jewel is red. I think. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it is. So I'm going to take some red eyeshadow. And I'm going to pack it right between right in the middle of this gem that we sketched out then I'm going to take this Beauty Creations palette this is the glitter one that I'm obsessed with I'm going to go in with this color down here I think that's fine Now I'm going to put these bottom lashes on. Ugh, this glue is drying way too fast. It won't stick. I'm just going to take this gray lipstick from LA Girls. It's a matte flat velvet lipstick. This is in the shade Poetic. I don't ever wear this lipstick and I don't know why because I love it. It's so pretty. I think this is the closest I'll ever get to goth. <laughs> I do want this lip to be a little more purple, so I'm going to take the deepest shade that we used on our lid and just pat this over this just a little bit. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, I'm going to go in with my Makeup Revolution Soap X palette, and I'm going to go in with the white shade. I look so ready for Comic-Con right now. <laughs> wow, I haven't been to Comic-Con in literally years okay so this is the final look what do you guys think i wish i knew how to do some edits where i could like pretend i have magic Oh, my wig is crooked. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. It was kind of like random and spontaneous. I literally rolled right out of bed and filmed this. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was so, so much fun to make. This is probably one of my favorite looks. And I'm definitely doing bottom lashes more. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you leave a like. Show that love. Make sure you subscribe. And if you missed my rainbow series, make sure you go check it out. I'll link the playlist down below. And yeah. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.
Do you think she'd wear a hat? 